The Yamaha DX7 was released in 1983. It used frequency modulation synthesis, which was a radical departure from the subtractive synthesis found on analog synths at the time. Analog synths like this Korg Trident used the filter to modify a bright waveform. For example, this is a saw wave. By ch changing the cutoff frequency, I can make the tone more dull. And if I bring it all the way down, or bring it down very much, it's almost a sine wave. A sine wave is a simple tone with no overtones. The six operators of the DX7 can only generate sine waves. The method of FM synthesis of the DX7 is essentially the reverse of subtractive synthesis. Instead of having oscillators to generate complex waveforms, which are altered with a filter, the operators of the DX7 start with only sine waves, which are modulated into much more complex waveforms. An operator that generates a sound is called a carrier. Overtones can be added to the sine wave tone with another operator called a modulator. So this is just a sine wave. By turning on a modulator, I can add an overtone to it. And by turning on additional mo uh, modulators, it can be built up to sound like a harp. Many are intimidated by the complexity of working with six operators. But very often, a complex sound can be done with one modulator affecting a carrier. I'm only using one modulator to create this horn tone here. So it's important to focus on getting the balance right between the carrier and the modulator. And the tone can be affected by altering the output level. I'll bring it all the way down. This is practically a, this is a sine wave. And then I'll bring it to mid. So by altering that, you alter the tone. The frequency of the modulator determines the tone color of the sound. Here's a list of ratio settings for the modulators commonly used for different instruments. By bringing the frequency up to two, it begins to sound like a clarinet. If I bring it up to three, which would be ideal for a guitar, it don't sound right because the envelopes are too slow to sound like a guitar being plucked. The DX7 has a four-stage envelope generator. The first can be used for the attack, the second for the decay, the third for the sustain, and the fourth for the release. The envelopes are more complex than on a typical analog synthesizer because there are levels that can be set for each stage, but it's easy to demonstrate on an analog synth how an envelope works. I can alter the attack, that is to make the sound rise slower by changing the attack level or attack rate. And then I can make it go fast again. And then the decay can be altered. which changes the way the sound falls away. And then the sustain can be changed. And then the release can be altered, which alters the way the sound, how long the song, 
how long the sound plays after I hit the key. The envelopes of the DX7 can be altered in a similar way. As I was working with the Trident, I came up with this B3 organ patch. So very often, imagination is important with working with any synth. Working with just a carrier and a modulator could keep you busy until I make my next video. Take care.